I'm going to Hollywood. Ever since I was a little kid. And every single birthday candle that I would blow out. That's what I would wish for. But that day hasn't came yet. I'm still here in Chickamauga, Georgia. And I'm tired of it. Because this is truly who I am. This is a motel. Well, extended stay. It's basically a place where they drop off convicts to start off their new lives. But it's not that bad. You know, there's a church that has a prayer meeting every Wednesday night in the parking lot, and there's free pizza. This place is such a dump. Hey, do we get six or seven fish tacos? Six! Damn it. Well, We'll be able to move out soon though, right? Georgia. Well, you're gonna need some new clothes. How'd that Breaking Bad callback go? Dude, I totally nailed it. But I think they went ethnic. Just stupid. I can't compete with that. You know, I thought after my pilot I'd have a lot more offers. Dude, get a different agent. That's what I did. So I got that gig in hot in Cleveland. And hey, what about you, Georgia? Why did you move out here? Acting. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That takes guts. I admire you guys. Move all the way out here. I just moved here from Corona. <laughs> <laughs> so have you had any training? Um, well, I just moved out here and um, I've done some community theater and stuff. And stuff? 
Well, you should probably get into some classes if you want to be an actor. You know, think of some cheap ones for like 400 bucks. You know, I actually know a great one off of Melrose. Headshots, too. Yeah, start with Samuel French. Is that a photographer? Well, just be prepared to wait tables for a while. Seriously, stop. Right, kid? Oh, hold there, Lee Majors. I'm your co-worker. You're the new kid, right? You got some pictures developed? I don't think people did that anymore. Yeah. Well, a headshot. Um, I have an audition tomorrow. That's uh, artistic. Um, well, I I do have a, a videotape too of um some uh. High school plays and um, a monologue that I did of uh, <laughs> a videotape. Yeah, that's your kids. I thought it would all be DVDs and internet by now. Video is what we did in the '80s, and our headshots had to be really professional too. You know, you were an actor too. Oh yeah, did them all. <laughs> Perfect Strangers, Falcon Crest, Twenty One Jump Street. Wait, you were in Twenty One Jump Street? I was on it once. Now you work at the the Tea Lounge. Well, yeah, it was fun while it lasted, but, you know, never really went anywhere. But you'll do great. Got a leg up on all these corn-fed yokels coming out here. <laughs> Poor bastards. They don't stand a chance. Kelly, did you put the new menus in? Okay, make sure it gets done tonight. Dan's coming in tomorrow, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tonight. Um, now go home. You were supposed to leave an hour ago. And don't forget, we need to order those new chairs by next week. Yes, I will call them on my way home. Hey, if Stan's only complaint from the inspection is the chairs, I'm happy. Oh, hey, how's work? It was fine. Oh. This is Mark. Oh, hey. Hi. So, do you want to come in the hot tub with us later? No, thanks. <laughs> hey. Hey. vegan fettuccine with whole wheat pasta. Why are you whispering? I ate at the restaurant. I'm just looking for a snack. I don't know how you can eat any of that crap. Your grandma is stable now and should almost have a full recovery. She was asking about you. Yeah? You know, all of us here are just waiting for you to be a big famous star. Uh, Mom. Okay. So I read this article, and I just really think I should talk to you about it. But I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything. I just have to ask. Okay. There was this article hey in Rita's Digest about kids from small towns that move out to Hollywood and end up in prostitution and drugs. And the boys are gay prostitutes. Is that even a question? First of all, I live in Santa Ana. Fine. Okay. Sonny, keep your high standards and integrity. Don't forget who you are. You know, speaking of the internet, Matt seems to know a lot of girls. Why don't you ask him to introduce you to some nice girls? His friends really aren't my type. <sighs> Besides, how am I supposed to find somebody to love me when I don't even love myself right now? No, don't say that. You just need an ego boost. Ask Matt to help you with acting stuff. He's on Law & Order. Why don't you see if he can get you a job? That was one episode of CSI and... It doesn't work that way. Like, he doesn't even have a job. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, hon. But don't worry, you'll get that big break. And when the girls see your face on the big screen, they'll be falling all over you. Oh, it's hard to get a break when you're not even putting yourself out there. Yeah. Hey, Mom? Is all my stuff still in my room? 
Well, yes, honey. Okay. Go ahead and sleep. No, just say your name in the camera and start whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. Sunny, reading for the part of Eric. Just start? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know or own much. I'm a horrible dancer and I've never been to Paris, but even so, I figured something out. Maybe the most important thing, actually. All I got are the things that make me me, and I'd be an idiot to pretend I was anything else. And that's why I'm quitting the service and I'm joining the circus. Thank you. I, I, I just want, I want to thank you all so much for this great opportunity. It, it really means a lot to me. It's m my dream and I'm, Thank you all so much, and um, God bless y'all. Okay, wait a minute. I want you to come back in here and read that again. This time with that accent and that passion. Hey, Mom. Well, hey, sweetheart. I'm glad you called. I talked to your dad, and you know what? If you're gay, you're gay. We will still love you. No, uh, but Mom. There is this retreat. Mom, no. There... I, I'm not gay, but I do have big news for you. Oh, are you coming home? Oh, I've got your old room no. all cleaned up. Mom. You just... I... I got the part. Oh. I got the part. You got the part? Mama, I am so... Son of a snout Shooting at a crow A silo on the hedgerow Goes deeper than you know
Well, 